Hi everyone, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com with another f fun tip. <laughs> this tip is on how to make a VBA message box variable. How to put a variable in your message box. To get more great tips like these, make sure you click the subscribe button below and also click the notification bell to be become aware of all the the new videos I release when I release them. Okay, so again, this video is about how to make a put a variable in your message box. Uh, sometimes you want a variable. Why we wanted this? Sometimes you want it for it to put as a uh, variable in your uh, in your error handling, like this video shows you. Other times you may want to put a variable in your code based on like if it's a uh, drop down you want to notify the user you want to use some of the argument the uh, uh, the arguments that are inside of like the not in not in list uh, so you want to identify okay this item is not in the current list would you like to add it and it's not uh, that's not for this video but if you're interested in that, we can have a, I can have another another video come about for that. Uh, you can leave a comment in the comments area below, and uh, we can definitely facilitate that that request. So this this one right here, this code snippet here, I'm going to run it and see what it does. Uh, we encounter an error, and your error is division by zero. So here I'm giving these variables. It's your error and int error. Int on the error when I do have an error, one divided by zero is going to cause me an error. It's a division by zero error. And when I go to the error, I'm going to go to the error handler label, which is labeled down here. Again, this is uh, this is basic. So uh, the language is basic. So we have these go-to go to labels. So it's going down near the label. Um, it's going to store the store the message, the description of the error object in this variable, and we're going to display it via this message box. Your error is the variable. Okay, and on error, and I said that already. So I'm going to step through it, and we're going to go through error handler, Bang, this is zero right now. Oh, we have an error. So we exit the sub. Very important. If you don't exit the sub, it's going to continue onward. So we're exiting the sub to make way for the for the for it to go to the code to be redirected to the label. And we're storing the, notice how this uh, variable is, is blank right now, but the error description have something in it, so we're storing the error description in the variable. And now it's division by zero, and your error is division by zero. Bang. So again, that's how you put a variable in a VBA message box. To get, make sure that you like the video if you got a lot out of it. Um, you can take the code. I'm going to put the code link down there in the description box below make sure you like and subscribe uh, subscribe to the videos uh, subscribe, subscribe to the channel and uh, make sure you click the bell notification to be able to to get all the videos I release when I release them they get notified of that and hopefully that's helped if it didn't or if it did make sure you leave a like in the uh, description box I uh, leave a uh, leave a comment down there, and I can get to a, a more specific. I can deal with your question more specifically. So thanks for thanks for your attention, and have a great rest of the day.